So um, right now I'm doing a postdoc or a postdoctoral fellowship at Carleton University in Canada and uh, it's looking at, it's focused on policy and looking at global policy advisory systems and in all different areas of policy. So it's very broad and there's a lot of different things that you can look at and we're very early in the process so it's um, where we'll pick some case studies and focus on case studies. But my personal area of research is also on Arctic uh, policy. So um, on, at the same time, I'm a teacher and I teach uh, northern policy and all of the issues around climate change and people that live in the north and all the challenges of living in, in very harsh conditions. So all of the interesting sort of interdisciplinary uh, problems that you have there. Bias. I'm my interest. I, I really believe social network analysis, is, which is what I had the chance to present here, is a really valuable tool that can really inform a lot of the research that's being done in policy diffusion. I think it's a very it helps to visualize relationships between different actors in policy diffusion, and it, it's a very flexible tool. So it's something that people can really get a lot out of and um, apply in different ways to explain and, and better um, illustrate the relationships between different people involved in both giving and receiving policies. Well, I have with a bias. I worked I worked before I did further study. So um, I before I, I worked in the government in Canada uh, for 18 years before I did a PhD. And I think that one of the things I would I always tell my students is it's great to, to sort of combine the practical with the theoretical and it gives you a different grounding to understand the things that you're researching. And also I would say I, I come from policy studies which in itself is multidisciplinary. Um, so I think it's always good to, to explore different areas. I think um, in, so, in, in sort of physical sciences, often you focus very closely, but I think there's a real richness to interdisciplinary studies that you can explore different things and learn things and you'll see that you come back to themes again and again. Um, so I would always encourage a student to try different things and explore different